Today we are ranking every Fortnite item and weapon in Chapter 5 Season 3. Season 3 just recently had an update which included a mythic guitar, so I thought it was a good time to go ahead and rank all these items. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. Use code TuneSpider in the Fortnite item shop to support me. And let's get to ranking. All right, so we're starting off with the apple. It only does five health, so it's going to be going in D. And right next to it is going to be the banana. Bandages do 15 health, and they come in stacks of five. So we're going to be putting those in B. They're the old reliable from even the early chapter one days. All right, so we have the regular boom bolt. That's going in S. The boom bolt is insane. It's actually one of my favorite new items for this season. Next, we got the cabbage. It does more health than the apples and bananas, so it's going in C. Up next, we have the Cerberus Mythic Gatekeeper shotgun. That's going in S plus for sure. It's the the second best shotgun of the season in my opinion then we got the coconut going in c as well even though the coconut only does five health it can do it for shield or your normal health up next we got the combat shotgun i love this shotgun it's one of my all-time favorite shotguns in fortnite history so it's going in s up next is the new mythic conductor hand cannon and this thing hits hard this one is going in s plus i know they nerf snipers but it kind of feels like you don't even need them when you have the hand cannon especially if you put like a sniper scope on it up next we have corn which also does 10 health so that's going in c up next we have the enforcer i personally don't like this weapon i'll only pick it up if i need a weapon right off the drop like right when i land other than that i'm not going to use it so i'm actually putting in c with the corn and going right next to it is actually going to be the fishing pole because Fishing poles can still be reliable if you even have time to fish in the game. This season is so chaotic, it feels like there's not even time to be able to go and do it. Up next is floppers. They are actually going in A. Up next is the Flowberry Fizz. Flowberry Fizz is going in S. I think it's the best healing item this season. Up next, we have the key card for the towers. So we're going to be putting that in S because I just love that idea. I think it's a great idea for the game. Being able to see future circles can help you win games. Up next, we have the normal gatekeeper. This is going in S as well. I think between this and the combat shotgun, as far as normal loot goes, I think they're the two best shotguns this season. Up next is the pump. Now I know for build mode, this is probably gonna be a little higher, but this is more for specific for zero build. This is going in B. It hits really hard, but it's just too slow for zero build. Up next is the normal hand cannon, and this is going in S. Like I said, they got rid of snipers, but it feels like you don't even need it if you have a hand cannon with a sniper scope. The Harbinger SMG, that is going in B. I really like it if you can get like a red dot side on it and a drum mag, but it just doesn't hit hard enough. Up next is the Huntress DMR, and this is going in S as well. The Huntress DMR hits so hard, and along with the hand cannon, it is an incredible long range weapon to where it feels like you don't even need snipers anymore. Up next, we have the med kit. Med kits are always solid. It's going A. The Mythic Combat, so Megalodon's Combat, is going in S+. All of the medallions are actually going to be going in S+, plus as well. I really like all of them and their abilities this season. The Mythic Nitro Fist. The Nitro Fists are absolutely crazy. They're going in S+. Plus. Uh, both of them are actually going in S+, plus, the normal and the mythic the mythic is just a little better because you get one extra charge but the close combat ability with them along with being really good mobility items they're so op the nitro splash is going in s i love that you can run on water while using them also if you play build mode you probably absolutely hate it because everyone can just break through your build super easy but for zero build they're a great item the second best healing item in my opinion is the nuka cola for the fallout collab that is going in s as well oscars mythic frenzy shotgun that's definitely going s plus that is the best shotgun in the game in my opinion the only way you don't win a fight with that thing is if you miss a lot of shots or you're fighting or you're using it from like medium to long range bunkers are always solid they're great for zero build uh pistol the ranger pistol is just always really good this chapter i love using the pistol if i can get a drum mag and a red eye sight on that torch the torch is going in a it for this season specifically it is so useful and is great if you're playing squads or trios or even duos it's nice to have one of your teammates have a repair torch for your car the mythic ride light right the mythic ride the lightning guitar from the new metallica collab this thing is broken it is crazy it's really fun to use but this season there is so much mobility the guitar for sure though is going s plus like i said the mythic this is the scar mythic this one's going in s plus along with ringmaster scars boom bolt the thing is nasty the emp shield breakers those are going in a they're great for disabling vehicles and i'm so glad they replaced boogie bombs shield bubble juniors they're going in a as well they're great for end games and zero build especially for solos uh if you don't have bunkers especially if you're playing ranked those end games can be 
pretty hectic, so it's nice to have cover for yourself. For shield fish, they're going in A, similar to floppers, except it increases your shield at, I believe it's 40. Mushrooms are going D, 50 pots are going A. I know we've had it for a while now, but I absolutely love that we can walk while drinking shield now. It is the greatest thing ever. Shockwaves are always great. Usually I take shockwaves over most mobility items, but this season they just feel underwhelming because of the cars, the nitro fists, and now the mythic guitar, so they're going A. We got the little small fry fish, they are going in C. Minis, they're going in B. So up next we have the tactical AR. This one is going in A. I really like it. I've always been a fan of the tactical AR. I do think it doesn't hit hard enough, but there's like no recoil to it, which is great. Now the machinist mythic combat assault rifle, that is going S plus, that is for sure the best AR in the game this season. And then her medallion will be going to S plus as well. The burst SMG, if you can get a drum mag and a red dot sight, this thing is a great replacement for an AR. So it's going S. The tow hook cannon, I haven't been able to use as much as I would like, but when I have used it, I wasn't super impressed with it, so it's going in B. The tri-beam laser rifle, when it actually hits, it is pretty dangerous. It, it kind of reminds me of an like faster shooting infantry rifle. It's going to be going into A. Then the Warforged Assault Rifle. I'm so glad they kept this one. It's become like one of my all-time favorite ARs, especially if I can get a red dot sight with it. It is going in S. But this is my Chapter 5 Season 3 Weapons and Items tier list. Let me know what are some of your favorite weapons this season and some of your favorite items. Let me know what you agree with me on this list or what you disagree. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Peace!